Hello, everyone. We are Group Three, and in this project, we develop a、um, distributed game called City Hunter. This is a very、um, immersive real-time distributed game based on Google Maps API. In this game,、um, as players, you can choose start location and destination, and you are. Also going to compete with each other to find a given place. You can know how others are doing, which enables you to know the total prog progress of this game. And then I will talk about our、um, system architecture. We employed a master-slave architecture to implement our system. The master server accepts. Game requests from the players, store the informations、uh, of the players, and multicast every player's game options to every slave servers. The slave server contains two modules. The Tornado server interacts with the master server and the browser.、Um, the message passer is in charge of multicasting user ID and distance to other slave servers. And then I will talk about this our system implementation.、Um, basically, it's the three C's and fault tolerance. For configuration,、um, when the players、uh, when the player inputs his、um, user information to start the game, his information including user ID, IP address, and port number will be sent、um, to master server and stored in the database. Then the master server will distribute the user information to a group of slave servers, according to the group access code. As both the、uh, master server and the slave server are stateless, whenever a server crashed, we can just reboot the server easily without extra overhead of re re of、um, recovery. And secondly, the consistency. When the game starts,、um, the message passer embedded in the slave server will multicast to all other users in the same group, based on the access code every second. In this case,、um, a player can see all other states,、um, which is the distance to the destination, in the front and in real time. As for the consensus. After the player submit the game information to the master server, the master server will multicast the game information to every slave server. After all of、uh, the game information is gathered, it will be sent to the browser.、Um, the game page will determine whether other players agree on the same game option. Here,、um, in the sequence diagram.、Um, Uh, it shows the events in the system after the player logs into the system to start the game until the game is ended. Um. Finally, the fault tolerance. Whenever a user is offline because of network failure, the message passer embedded in the slave server of other users will target the offline user. In this case, other users will continue to finish the game rather than quit the game because of the、uh, network failure of the others. Next, I will talk about the skill challenges.、Um, we extensively use Python in our backend development and、um, JavaScript for front end. We ended up using、um, a lot of new techniques, including Tornado Web Service,、um, Django Web Framework, and、um, JavaScript library jQuery, and also、uh, client-side web technique Ajax, and、um, Google Maps Web API. Which、um, these new techniques helps a lot in our projects, and、um, we are all skilled enough、uh, 
um, in these uh, languages, tech, uh, technologies to cred、uh, credibly put it on our resumes. And as for our team organization, we have two people responsible for front end and two、uh, two others for back end. And we all work together for the client-server cooperation mechanism, and for the collaboration tools we、um, get to share our code.、Um, that's all for our presentation. Thank you for watching.